Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you how to auto forward SMS messages from one phone to another with an Android device, and then you can read it with any email client you want. In the video I did a few years ago, it was possible to do it with a jailbroken iPhone, but that method doesn't work anymore, so I thought I'd share how I do it today with my setup. At the time of this video, it's not possible to auto forward SMS messages with Apple iOS devices without jailbreaking. This is why I recommend getting an inexpensive Android phone for around $50. The one I'm using right here is the Huawei Y300. It's a very simple smartphone. Just any smartphone will do uh, as long as it's able to run apps from the App Play Store. And also make sure that your uh, carrier SIM can also work in it. So if you have to unlock it, make sure it's unlocked. For my line of work, I actually have a company phone number and I have a personal phone number. So instead of carrying two phones with me, I set up voice call forwarding from my personal number to my work phone. And then I also forward SMS messages via uh, email or SMS and then I can read it on the email client on my, my phone, uh, either on the, on the phone itself or on a computer. I then reply to the people who SMS me with the phone's uh, SMS client. So you will need an Android smartphone that can accept your, uh, your SIM card as well as a Gmail account. Once you have the SIM inside your Android phone, you can download the app. It's called SMS Forwarder, like I mentioned before, and there's quite a few of them with a similar title, but look for the one by uh, Yasnani. Once you download the application, you want to run it and then go to the settings. You want to go and enable the notify message status and then go down and disable when roaming. Next thing you want to do is link an email account. So this is where you put your Gmail account that allows you to send the messages themselves via email. After you're done with the settings, you want to go and create a new profile. Give it a name and receive messages from everybody. Next, you want to edit the forward to section. You can add an email address. It can be your work email. It can be any email address you want where the SMS messages will be uh, sent to. And then you can also enter a phone number where the SMS message will be re redirected to. So it can be any phone number, it can be your work phone number or any other one you want. And you can add more than one. You can add as many as you like. Next, click more options and then go down to append sender info to forwarded message. This is where you wanna have it append both the name of the person who SMSed you as well as their phone number. And then make sure the activate profile is checked off and then click done. The SMS forwarder app can be customized to do more things. You can create multiple profiles. You can forward SMS messages from say your mom to your dad, or you could forward only SMS messages from certain contacts. But these settings should get you started and uh, should work for most people. So now I'm gonna do a test by sending a message from another phone to my personal number and it should redirect to my uh, email as well as my work phone. And we're going to switch over to the other camera. Anyways, that's how I do it nowadays. Hopefully it helps you with your situation. So if you found this video useful, like, comment, or subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.